In my last video, I tried installing a second cooling fan on my 3D printer, but something went wrong and I accidentally fried the mainboard. To my surprise, the video did really well and a lot of people commented on it to help me figure out what the problem was. So in this video, I'm gonna look at what the problem was and I'm gonna try again while avoiding the mistake I made last time. Let's get right into it. I'm once again gonna be using Paul Elrod's Minimus design because it's lightweight, easy to assemble and doesn't require any additional hardware. This video isn't sponsored, but hey, I'm open to offers. If you want to learn more about the Minimus cooling setup, I'd recommend you to go and watch this video by Ricky Impe where he does a great job at explaining everything. The big question is, what killed the mainboard last time? While I'm not 100% sure, I think it was because I was sliding around the axis too much. This caused the stepper motors to generate a current, which was then sent back to the mainboard through the wires. This probably fried something on there, because the V4.2.2 boards from Creality are notoriously weak. Printing the required parts was pretty straightforward. I used black PETG instead of the white PLA plus I used last time. Not because the PLA plus didn't hold up, it actually held up really well. But I have PETG now, so why not use it? Last time I soldered the wires of the second fan directly to the wires of the first fan. But this time I felt like going fancy and making this Y splitter. Not only does it look cool, but it also makes it easier to swap out a fan if one of them breaks or if I want to swap them out for beefier fans in the future. I have very little footage of the soldering process because it's quite challenging to record and solder at the same time. And when working with high temperatures like that, I prefer being safe over getting footage. After also soldering a connector to the fan wires that came from the mainboard, it was time to remove the old printed parts and install the new ones. After what happened last time, I wanted to test with the single fan first to ensure everything was still working. And after confirming that was the case, I installed the second fan. And everything worked. Let's go. When my excitement had returned to a normal level, I decided to tidy up the cables a little bit. While the Minimus comes with a flexible wire management piece, I forgot to print one, so this will have to do until I print one. I'm not sure how to properly test cooling ducts, but I think these overhangs look pretty good. And there we have it, a properly working dual fan setup with the possibility to easily swap out the fans or remove the cooler to change the nozzle. If this video was interesting to you, please consider leaving a like or a comment so the YouTube algorithm overlords will present this video to more people. Have a beautiful day.